guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Emma. If you're new here, hi, welcome. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go down below and do that right now. Also, my Instagram name is in the description box below, so you should go check that out. So, look how nice and put together this looks. Guys, it took me three hours, three, mind you, three hours to clean up my room today because there was just so much garbage and clothes and I filled up two, two trash bags full of trash. That's how gross my room was because it's been three weeks since I've been on spring break because year round school, different subject. So it just started piling up because I've been going on trips and been out of the house for different reasons. So my room has just been accumulating all of these dirty clothes and gross stuff. So long story short, stress. My room was stressing me out, like to the point where when I came in here, I wanted to cry or I just had to leave. So I only came in here to sleep. And now my dog's barking. So anyway, stress happens, stress is in my life, I'm sure some stress is happening in your guys' life, so that's why I've come up with some ways to de-stress and to self-care and reflect and have a day of just loving yourself and having a good old time to try to de-stress from this crazy life we're all living. So let's just hop right into the video. So the first thing that I want to say is just to recognize that you do have to get your work done or whatever it is that your task is at the moment but it is okay to take a break or to take just a chill day and calm yourself and collect your thoughts and all of that. Just a little side note. So something that I do and that I actually find really easy to do is when I'm in the car to blast my music and sing at the top of my lungs. Sure, this might not be totally healthy for my vocal cords or my ears, but it helps me de-stress. I can listen to some, I don't listen to heavy metal, but I can listen to like The Greatest Showman cranked all the way up and listen to that or recently I've been really into the Newsy soundtrack, ask anyone, and I've just been jamming out to that. So I just like to sing at the top of my lungs and it helps me just feel like I'm getting all my emotions out singing these songs and I don't know, that's just one way that I like to de-stress. So another thing is to write down your thoughts. Just get all your emotions or all the things that are swirling around in your mind that might be making you stressed and just write them all on paper so that you can organize your thoughts and figure out what you need to do next once you take your moment and breathe. This is a personal favorite of mine. Treat yourself. Now, don't get like crazy with this. You can't like, well, you shouldn't go out and buy yourself lots of things every day or eat a lot of sugar or anything, but it's okay to go out and buy yourself a donut or a frappuccino from Starbucks or whatever it is that your thing. Just do that a couple times and sometimes, well, especially for me, it just makes me feel better and happier and ready to go with whatever it is that I need to do. You can also like go to the nail salon, get a manicure or a pedicure or get your hair cut. That's something that I like to do is getting my hair cut because then I feel like new and it makes me feel happier and I don't know, I like that. All of these are my favorite. I was gonna say this is my favorite, but I mean, it is. Playing with my cat. I do like to play with my dog too, but my cat is my cuddle buddy and he will just, so if I go to take a nap, he will come over and like lay on my face and so I have to be like, Lucas, get off me. But then he'll just nestle up next to my head and I love it and that makes me very happy. So if you're an animal lover and you have a cat or a dog or a mouse or a lizard and you like to cuddle with it then I support that and I think that it helps your heart. Another thing that's important to do when you're feeling really stressed is to turn off your phone. Just turn off all of those Instagram notifications, all of those phone calls, just everything. Just turn it all off for however long you want to do. Maybe it's 30 minutes, maybe it's two hours. Just to take a few minutes and just close out the outside world and have some you time. Whether that's watching Netflix, taking a nap, working on some sort of a project, working on art, well, that would be a good one. <laughs> then you do that and just have no outside distractions. Speaking of outside, something else that I think is really important to do if you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed is to get outside a little bit because I know that if you're working at school or at an office or even in your house, you can get so stuck inside in whatever project that you're doing, you get like, like <laughs> what's the, <laughs> like basement dweller you just keep getting deeper and deeper into your comfort of whatever you're sitting in and it's better to get out and to breathe that fresh air and take a walk or whatever it is go on a bike ride those kinds of things i think that helps me especially clear my mind and ready to get back to whatever it is i was doing so i was actually on pinterest earlier today looking up some different ways to de-stress and i found this really cool quote about um treating yourself and holding yourself to a value that people tend to forget. 
So I'm just gonna read it for you. I don't know who wrote it because it doesn't have like who's, whoever's name or anything, so it might just be a popular saying that I've never heard, but it's kind of long, so bear with me. Treat yourself the way you would treat a small child. Feed yourself healthy food and make sure you spend time outside. Put yourself to bed early and let yourself take naps. Don't say mean things to yourself and don't put yourself in danger. I thought it was nice and I wanted to share that with people. So if the person who wrote that happens to be watching that, hi, shout out to you. Um, I really doubt you are watching this, but if you are, hey, I like your quote. Cool. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not. Also, like I said before, my Instagram name is in the description box below, so you can go check that out. Also, if you haven't already, go watch the vlogs that I was doing this past week. I went to Disney World, and then I went to New York City, and it was amazing, and it was so much fun. So you should go watch those, because I put a lot of effort into them, and I want other people to watch them. So yeah, um, I hope that you guys liked it, and I will see you guys next Sunday at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm.